groovy. Hey gang, here's a quick video on Battlefield 5's Rotterdam map. After the latest NVIDIA driver, 416.94, and today's Battlefield 5 patch, which enabled DXR. Now I don't normally play with the in-game FPS counter in the upper right, choosing instead to use my own overlay for that. But for the, for the purposes of this video, I disabled that overlay because it doesn't record very well, and because its font is a bit too small to be seen. Instead, I've got the in-game FPS counter scale set to something like 4 or 5 to make it a bit more visible. I play in 4K with a pair of lightly overclocked 2080 Ti cards. Of course, since DXR is a DX12 only thing, both GPUs are not being used in Battlefield 5. The game clearly tells you when you enable DX12 that multi-GPU is not supported. You can see the detail levels I have set here. Basically, everything's set to high except AA, AO, and post-processing. And, when enabling DXR, we get a new option at the bottom for its quality. I'll start the video at low. Darn it! Objective Chaser is ours! Taken enough objectives to control this fight. This is a fight Vorsicht! Seht euch das an! Schützen entdeckt. Munition. Munition! Die Munition hier. Not very impressive in my opinion. It did look pretty. Mind you, I'm using the Asus PG27UQ 4K panel that does 144Hz. So having my 4K performance cut nearly in half is... bad. Let's make it worse by making it prettier. Watch this. Objective Amy is now ours! 
Maria, Munition! Munition, hier! Another thing to keep in mind is that I'm recording in NVENC using OBS Studio. That was costing me a few FPS. But overall, I'm going to leave DXR and DX12 disabled for now. I don't know DICE's roadmap for supporting multi-GPU. If they bring it out in a future update, this could significantly improve the DXR performance for folks with multiple GPUs. But for now, nope! <laughs> 